Get it pretty good. You motherfuckers should see where the fuck I live. I, got I know you don't believe it, even though you see it. You wonder how we get this paper long. Black card if you need it. You better believe that we're still eating from my first They got 412s in the aim. It's my flow game sick like Greg Lou Game. <laughs> Go ahead and call me an asshole. I'm the frog prince. You niggas is tadpoles. My pants got social anxiety. The pockets keep thinking people calling them fat souls. Now think about that one. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm back, son. Party full of pretty girls, but I want the fat one. Nubo got her looking like two Tony Braxton. All these red cars got me looking like a straight blood. So they looking at me funny every time I say fun. But they ain't got they click and I do. We roll swole like them Spartans, nigga. I know you don't believe it, even though you see it. You wonder how we get this paper long. Black car, if you need it, you better believe that we still eating from my first Good, you two. That one I need to hear back again uh, once again. And today we will take her back for episode number 26, if I'm not mistaken, of our Pokemon Storm Silver Egg Lock. And the last episode you got, guys, we finished clearing out the Goldenrod City Radio Tower. How many words can you fit in a sentence? We finished clearing out the uh, Radio Tower of Team Rocket's presence, even though Giovanni came back. And we cleared out Ice Paths as well and made it here to Blackthorn City. 
And in today's episode, I actually have no idea what we're gonna do because this part of the game is foggy and I don't remember exactly what we're supposed to do. I think we go, do we go, I don't think we can go to the Dragon's Den yet because I think they want us to beat Clear first. So I think we have to take on Clear first. But, I don't know, we'll see. Either way, if you guys are hyped for this episode of Storm Silver, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash your like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, if today's episode and Wednesday's episode can break a powerful 7,000 likes, then Friday's episode will be an hour of power. Now, we did have a grinding montage on today's episode, so that means we need a quick team update for you guys. And Munchie, not Munchie. I called it Munchie because his name's Munch Lax and his nickname is Hungry. So you put Munch and Hungry together and you get Munchie. But Hungry, our Munch Lax, did evolve into a Snorlax during the grinding montage. And he's currently holding the leftovers, which is the, the most fitting item for a Snorlax, goddammit. Especially one named Hungry. He has adamant nature with immunity and he's rocking body slam, strength, crunch, and lick. I don't really know why he has lick still. I went ahead and replaced Double Edge on him with body slam because, I don't know, Double Edge, I'm just not a huge fan of it I was I was always scared back when we had Ted you know rest his heart of double edge ruining us at one point or another so I, I don't know I just feel safe with body slam plus we have a chance to uh, paralyze as well strength is a rock type move in this ROM hack remember we are playing storm silver not soul silver I already know there's gonna be that one person in the comment section is gonna be like oh my god nappy this game's wrong it's not a rock type move, it's normal type. No, it's, it's rock, trust me. Crunch and Lick, I'm not really not sure why we still have Lick. I think we probably just have Lick because I don't have a TM for Earthquake. I have a chance to get Earthquake, but I hatched the egg before I took the item off it, like the dumbass that I am, so... I don't know, we're just stuck with that. Now, what's really unique about this Snorlax is he's adamant nature. Most of the time when I run Snorlax, he's either bold or calm or some sort of defensive nature because his HP is off the charts and he just eats up hits. He's naturally special defensive as you can see from his stats. But his attack is sky high because he's nice and adamant. So I mean I guess we're just gonna body slam everything in our path. God damn, I don't know, we'll see what ends up happening. But he is a new member to our team, and we're happy to have him, god damn it. We have Terror, our adamant nature toward Terror, rocking leftovers as well. You ain't critting him because he got shell armor, rocking sea bomb, curse super power, and earthquake as well. Then we have Fang, the oh so hated Fang. That's three adamant nature mons on our team, god damn. Adamant nature as well, rocking life orb. I decided to slap the life orb on because he's here and he's gonna kill things, okay? <laughs> Look at him, he looks like he's killed something in his life before, god damn it. But he's got flies and headbutt crunch and a dragon dance. After a dragon dance or two, for that life orb boost, we, we taking lives, god damn it. Then up next we have Kitsune, our calm natured uh, le leftovers holding. Everybody's got leftovers. No, we just have life orb, never mind. Uh, leftovers holding nine tails with drought. I'm, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It can eat up special hits. It's fast as hell. And because of the drought, everything dies to a flamethrower. Everything that I could kill I could kill a whale orb with a flamethrower if I really wanted to <laughs> But we've got flamethrower extra sensory solar beam and willow wisp up next We have probably I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't know we play favorites But this is probably one of my favorite mons on the team church the jolly nature choice banner holding if you scared motherfucker go to church the Medicam with pure power, high jump kick, cycle cut, bullet punch, and ice punch. We figured it out last time. If we use a stab, super effective move, that's basically times three boosted with a pure power and choice band. So we are tearing through things. Tearing through things. And then last but not least, a new member to the team as well. One that a lot of you guys have been asking to be added to the team. We have our modest natured leftovers once again holding Banana, the Milotic with cute charm. I never realized that it had Q Charm until now. All right, let's 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 do it, let's do it. Uh, with Dragon Breath, Hypnosis, Ice Beam, and Surf. Um, we don't really need Toxic or Recover. I mean, I guess Toxic wouldn't be too bad. I guess I'd rather have Toxic than Hypnosis. I might check my TMC if I have it. Uh, but we really don't, really don't need Recover, because in a Nuzlocke, it's smarter to just use a Hyper Potion during a turn than to use Recover, because you'll heal more HP. Um, so I'm not really concerned with Recover, but Surf and Ice Beam's good. Dragon Breath, I guess, I mean, it's not really there for any coverage, because Dragon's only super effective against Dragon, and Ice is super effective against Dragon, and neither of them are stab on Banana here, so we really don't need Dragon Breath and Ice Beam. I guess we can try and get Paralysis to Dragon Breath, so it's really just going to be there until I get something else. Uh, but let me see here, let's check our TMs here. We do have a TM for Toxic, you know what, I'm going to use it. TMs aren't reusable in this game, but I'm going to teach it to Banana. Because like I said, I'd rather have Toxic than Hypnosis, why not? Alright, so Banana has that right there. Now we did, look at, look at this fat ass behind us. Oh, look at this fat ass. Oh, you so chunky and chubby hungry. Oh, you so hungry, ain't you? Oh, 
Ozma. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. And we're recording at night again. <sighs> the last couple episodes have been at night. I've been trying to fix that. It's just during the day, I don't always get the chance. Are you, are you? On oh, another Saturday? Today's not Saturday though, today's Sunday. Why are you here? Uh, on Okay, whatever. Will you let me in here? How, oh, oh shit. Okay, it's impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. Well, guess it's a good thing I'm not a run-of-the-mill fucking trainer, huh? Yo, champ in the making! The gym has unstable footing! Keep your Pokemon in their Pokeballs, nigga! Now, Claire used the mythical and sacred dragon-type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily, but you know they're supposed to be weak to ice-type moves. Oh, never mind. Goodbye, Hungry. Uh, before I go in here, let me double-check our medication. All right, we only have eight hyper potions. All right, hungry, get back out your goddamn ball. We're gonna go uh, lose a couple pounds jogging, and uh, we can do a get some, uh, some hyper potions here, cause we got money out the ass. We got money out the ass. It's like falling out of hungry's ass crack. That's how much money we got. God damn it! Imagine if Snorlax was just stuffed. Oh, oh, never mind. He went. Never mind. I was gonna say he's gonna tell us all over again, but we were right back in that goddamn ball. I think Hungry, I, as much as I like to use him right now, I feel like Banana is smarter for us to use, and, oh shit, I fucked that up, never mind, Banana's smarter for us to use, and this nigga looks like he wants to battle, you see him twitching, going back and forth, god damn, and really, level 46 Stratini, why, level 46 Bagon, why, okay, that's not a, Dragon type in this game. I was gonna say for a second, did they change Seedra to a dragon type? Because isn't Horse Seed just water type, and then Seedra is water poison, and then Kingdra is water dragon? It's messing with my head, I'm sorry. I apologize. Like, that's one hell of an awkward evolution line if I ever seen one. Don't get me wrong, I love Kingdra. Kingdra's the shit, it's one of my favorite Pokemon, but that's one hell of an evolution line. Like, goddamn. Can I go through here? That doesn't work. Why does. Oh, JK! It does work. Battle me, bitch! But yeah, during our grinding montage, we did get everybody up to level 50. And we're level 51 now. God damn it. And. Yo, it gave us so much! I can't even finish a goddamn sentence! That just gave us so much fucking experience! Yo, let me see how much experience this gives us. 2000! Holy shit! I would love to battle dragons more often, fuck! I think this is the last platform, I wanna go back and heal. This nigga got one shell gone, fuck outta here nigga. I think this is the last platform, but I kinda wanna go back and heal because we're almost out of PP on Ice Beam. I'm, I'm sorry Claire, but I feel like this might be a sweep because, yo look at, look at how beautiful the Milotic is, look at Banana. Look at, I feel like that's very, very stressful for Milotic to like keep up. Cause like it ain't got feet, it's kinda like slither across the ground. Especially because it's a water type, like, how often does my look ever out of water? Actually, I take that back! Y'all remember the episode of the anime when, what was it, Dawn's mother forced her Feebas to evolve into a Milotic mid-battle? I didn't know you could do that! Like, she gave the order to the Feebas, she said, Feebas, evolve! And the Feebas evolved into a Milotic mid-battle, and I'm like, god damn! That's a Pokemon Mass if I've ever seen one. For real. Like, Jesus Christ. God damn, I did the same thing again. Dawn's mom got me all type of heebie jeebied up with her with her making Pokemon evolve and shit. I wish I could do that. I wish I could look at my Hunter and say, EVOLVE! And it just evolved into a Gengar. But sadly, I had to wait a long ass time. This is not right. That's not right. What am I doing wrong? Can I, can I do this again? There we go. I had to wait a long, long time until I found some more kids at daycare that had a link cable so I could evolve my Haunter. And one guy didn't want to give my Haunter back, so then I had trust issues after that. I'll be like that sometimes. Where the fuck am I going? Nigga. What? Slide over. Slide up. Ugh! Ugh! Does this work? Shit. No, 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 no! What? Um. Hey! 
Hey, see, I just have to stop. All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. God damn. Anyways, we're here, we're ready to go, and only you can prevent lost save data. So make sure you save your game for anything crazy goes down. I don't know about you guys, but Claire is easily one of the most intimidating gym leaders ever. Ever, hands down. I don't care. Ever. I would rue the day that I ever had to fight Claire and Cynthia in a double battle. Because I would probably just shit my pants from the intimidation. Could you imagine a double intimidate? Fuck. Anyways, let's do this. I am Claire, the world's best dragon type master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do this. As a gym leader, I will use my full power against my any against any opponent. I'm still working out health on phonics, but I'll whoop your fucking ass. <laughs> I loved it, speaking of the anime, I loved it when they brought Claire back in the 5th gen anime to catch that macaroni dreadicon. She whooped that nigga's ass. Alright, Banana, let's show him who the real fucking Aqua Snake is. His wannabe asshole right here. Honestly, I could just click Ice Beam. Because, and let, wait, she has a Kingdra. I was about to say, unless she has a Water type. Oh shit, her ace is a fucking Kingdra. We're good to go. Let, oh! What? Oh, you cheeky. Okay, 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 okay. This is, this is the game we're gonna play. Alright, I know you're gonna heal, so if you wanna play this game, I'll play this game too. Banana. Banana. Banana's back sprite is fucking on point though. That's an amazing back sprite. Giddy got, giddy got, giddy got, got, got damn. Alright, so Banana, let's not get a mineral. Let's try this one more time. I should have toxic it first, and then ice beamed it, so the toxic damage would kill it. Are we... How many... What? <sighs> Alright, Claire. This is what you want to do, Claire. This is the game that you're trying to play. I'm not going to let you Thunder Wave me. I don't know why you keep doing... Oh, oh, you didn't heal this time. <laughs> Are you like, uh... Wait, that was a Dragonite. Never mind. Was it Dragonite? Did Lance have a Dragonair? When we fought, him, when we fought with him, we fought alongside him in Mahogany Town. Cause wherever the fuck he at, was it Dragonite? No, it was a Dragonair that had thunder and surf and all that shit on it. And fire blast too, like goddamn, calm down. But then again, doesn't he, when you fight him in Elite Four, doesn't he have like, different Dragonites? Like one Dragonite has Blizzard, one Dragonite has Thunder, one Dragonite has Fire Blast, or some shit like that. Does he ever have three Dragonites? He doesn't have three Dragonites. He has one with Thunder, one with Blizzard, I think, I'm pretty sure. Alright, Giarados. If only we had a Mon that could body a Giarados. Uh, let's see here, let's see here. What do, what do, what do? I know Gyarados carries Ice Fang, and Gyarados could be rocking Bounce. I still feel like Banana's the best one to take the hit. I just can't do anything in return. Our defense is 99. I just don't want to get hit with an Ice Fang. If he's got bounce, I'm scared. I just can't do it. I'm gonna toxic him. I'm gonna toxic this Gyarados, and let's just hope he doesn't try and set up. Speaking of intimidation, please don't miss. There we go. Ah, shit in his mouth. His mouth's hanging open. Just shitting it, banana. Isn't this? Isn't this? Holy fuck! I guess it's a good thing I didn't go out to Fang. I was actually considering it, but yo, can we eat that? Yeah, we can eat that. We can eat that perfectly fine. And that leftover recovery, no. <laughs> See now, this would be a nice chance to have recover. You know, I wouldn't have to uh, HP. I wonder if people would get upset. Because people get upset when you heal spam. When they get upset if you recover spam, then again, they get upset at that in Wi-Fi battles. So I wonder, should I recover spam in an LP? <laughs> Is that a thing? Should I do that? I guess it's a good thing we kept uh, Dragon Breath as well, because I wouldn't have anything to hit this Gyarados with. Not like that did anything, but whatever. Whatever, I'll take it. Just don't, just, there we go. I was about to say, I have to heal now. I have to heal now. That's pretty much the only strategy I have for this thing. I'm just glad she outraged turn one and didn't go for a Dragon Dance, because that would be terrifying. But this is like, this is like a lover's quarrel right now on the screen between Gyarados and uh, Milotic. And I'm actually really ashamed of the Pokemon Company for not ever doing something between these two. Because this is just like perfect, because Gyarados, even though this is a 
fe fe I almost said feline. Feminine, uh, 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 a lady Gyarados. A lady dose. Even though it's, it's, a, it's a female Gyarados, Gyarados looks masculine as shit. I'm just saying. Let me see here. I don't know what. I'm just gonna surf. Hit stab. Whatever. I'm sure we'll do more damage than Dragon Breath would. It's not very effective. Hurt yourself, please! Please! Oh, shit! Holy shit! Please stop! Please stop! It's not that serious! It's really not that serious, Gyarados. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! oh! I swear, if she hyper potions or full restores right now, I will be beyond myself. Hurt yourself! Hurt yourself! Hurt yourself! <laughs> okay, we good. Never mind. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. 2200 experience. Jesus Christ! God damn, Banana! This is Banana's first episode, and she's already putting in the finest of work. And I, I appreciate you, Banana. You're smart. You're loyal. I appreciate you. Ice beam this damn thing. It's probably gonna thunder wave us. It's probably gonna thunder wave us. Place your bets in the comment section below. Will it thunder? It ain't doing shit. Cause we got a fucking max roll. That dragon air can suck a dick. Or maybe do we level up since the start of this battle? I don't know. We've got a lot of fucking experience, but I don't know if we leveled up. Are we getting that much experience because it's dragon types? Do dragon types give out a lot of experience? She has a Salamence? God damn! Ew, Banana's taken two Intimidate drops so far. <laughs> I wonder, is Claire... Uh, Claire, are you waiting for this waterfall or some shit? Is it gonna be enough? It's quite effective. It's quite effective. Oh! Get him out! If you ain't Fang, I don't wanna talk, nigga! If you ain't Fang, I- Level 53. Level 53. I trained up to level Mirror Coat. Should we get risky like that? I think I'd rather play it safe. I don't know, should I get- Dragon Breath might come in handy, cause it's not that strong and it has a chance to paralyze. I'm gonna give up on Mirror Coat. I, I don't know. Until I find a move that's that's 100% worth replacing on Dragon Breath, then I'm just I'm just gonna leave it there for now, cause you never know. And our leftovers restored all that HP. Yo, literally, if you just bring an Ice Beam Pokemon to this goddamn gym, I feel bad. I feel bad for Claire, cause she got a whole Ice Path full of Ice types. You can catch a Deli Bird. Just have a Choice Panel and just Ice Shard everything in the goddamn gym. Like, look at that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And she only got one mon left. What was that? What level was that Salamence? Level 50? So what is her ace gonna be? Level 50. Okay, so we trained appropriately. We trained appropriately. We trained our mons up to level 50. I'm going to go with the same strategy as before in case he tries to dragon dance. And we're gonna toxic this bitch. The Kingdra was badly poisoned. What are you what what? So you intimidate me to drop my attack, and then you swag your me and raise it again and confuse me. I'm not picking up what you're putting down, but whatever works, whatever works, whatever works, I'm going to... There you go. Swagger me all you want. We're not confused anymore. And honestly, at this point, you have a special attack in Kingdra? Okay. And this is quad resistant, right? <laughs> There's a whole lot of other Stop swaggering me! God damn, you're not Mo! I will I will literally full heal each time. Every time that you swagger me, I will full heal. And I will eat up this dragon pulse and you will die. Actually, no wait! This is when it comes in handy. This is when Dragon Breath comes in handy. Because I can't ice beam a water dragon type. But this is super effective! I didn't even think of that! I just ruled Dragon Breath out last time! Look at the damage though! Look at the damage though! You swaggered me again! Three turns of swagger! I think Claire would learn her lesson. She can hold her own against the Elite Four. Come on now, they must have just been being nice to you. My lord, you know, swagger somebody three times in a row. Alright, alright. I lost. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. 
Nah, hand me them six big G's. I won't concede this. I might have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon Master Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. There's a small shrine at its heart. Go there. If you can prove that you lost your lazy ideals, I will admit you are a trainer worthy of a gym badge. Lazy ideals? I don't know if I should be offended or just write her off as crazy. Cause I don't know what the hell- And Joey is calling a- Joey, what do you want, Joey? What do you want? Good evening, Nappy! It's me, Joey. Were you awake? Let's get together and fucking battle. I promise things will be different. Round 30's where I'll be! Give me a shot when you fucking come. Alright, later. No, I'm, I'm- It's alright, Joey. I like my kneecaps being in place. Thank you. And do you guys want, like, a really graphic image in your head? You know the conversation starts off great when, when, when they ask you that. If you're, if you're not good with queasy things, or uh, you, have a, you have a very weak stomach, then I'm going to give you a second. You can pause the video. You can skip ahead by about a minute or so. But okay, could you imagine if someone took a knife and put it behind your kneecap and popped it off? They did that in The Last of Us, and I know how to feel. But it reminded me of that because Joey wanted to break our fucking kneecaps. But we can get our Dragon's Den encounter. Not Dragon's Den. We, well, we can get a Dragon's Den encounter, but we can also get a Blackthorn City encounter here. And it's a powerful magic card. Card, 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 card. I feel like I haven't bought Ultra Balls in forever. But you can get sent straight to the PC. I don't know if I should leave Banana out for the Dragon Masters challenge or nah. I feel like I should because I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know. But if there's dragons in here, whatever. If Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. Fuck off me, nigga. I'm illegal and I know my rights. Get your hands off me! God damn it. Alright, so we can get an encounter here in Dragon's Den. Or we can whoop this nigga's ass, you know? <laughs> come one, come all, catch a goddamn ice beam. Fuck out of here. I don't think you can get wild encounters. I mean, I think it has to be in the water, right? I find a revive, which is useless. I can sell that shit. But, I think it has to be in the water. I got a calcium. Calcium increases... Yo, this beat. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Special attack. Banana? That has no effect. Okay, anybody else? Kitsune? There you go, as if you needed that special attack to be increased. I think I'm gonna use this PP up. Question is, do I use it on Surf for Banana or Flamethrowers? Or should I use it on Earthquakes for Terror? Mm. Either Flamethrower or Earthquake. Flamethrower or Earthquake. Flamethrower or Earthquake. I'm gonna use it on Flamethrower. Because Flamethrower in the Sun is just, it's just too good. It's just too fucking good. It's too fucking good. All right, Banana, I'm sorry. You put in all that work and I didn't give you that goddamn PP up. My bad. All right, so let's see. Can we get... There we go. Another goddamn magic card. Whatever. I'll swap that nigga out too. Let me hatch a goddamn egg. Oh, wait. We have eggs to hatch. Oh, I forgot about that. From last episode. Ooh, I bet you there's somebody in the comment section that's mad at me. Because I forgot to hatch them eggs. But hey, we took on Glare and we beat her, okay? Tomato, tomato. I shouldn't be in here. Well, you know what? Suck a dick. Body here. Yo, I'm just saying, if Banana gets to level 55, I'm, I'm swapping out and training somebody else. But it's just too good. All these goddamn ice beams, all these dragon types, which is body and everything. I'm gonna say knock on wood right now. As long as Banana makes it to the Elite Four, we should be good. I just love saying banana. Banana! Actually, I'm going to have you ice beam this Alteria. And I'm gonna have you sea bomb this Vibrava. There we go. Talk about teamwork. Teamwork makes the fucking dream. Oh no! I need Whirlpool. Really, really hate Whirlpool. Whirlpool, Rock Climb, Flash, Cut. All HMs that should be just gotten rid of. Well, I mean, in later gens they are, but still. Like, I want to meet whoever at the Pokemon company said, Yo, Whirlpool. 
great idea. Well, I don't have a fucking Whirlpool Pokemon, so we gotta go get one, God damn it! And I ain't teaching Whirlpool to Banana either, so we're gonna have to find a goddamn Pokemon to teach Whirlpool to. And we'll just be good with that. Fuck. That just, that just made me so upset. Disgruntled me so much. Okay, so we still have the Lickitung from uh, whatever route is east of Mahogany Town, and then we have the Swine Up from Ice Path to swap out. And two Magikarps, so we have two fishes, two fishes. Okay, who wants to learn Whirlpool? I feel like either the Marsh Stomp or the War Turtle can learn Whirlpool. Mr. Omaha down here. Let's go ahead and see if Mr. Omaha can learn Whirl 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 Whirlpool. We have the HM for it, right? I believe we do. We got an ice path, right? Or is that waterfall? I think there's waterfall. Omaha, learn this goddamn. Oh, your moose it's so good though. Oh, I can't really yawn. Fuck. I didn't wanna do that. I didn't wanna do that. God damn! Alright, whatever. Whatever. Let's just keep going. And do I need another super pill? Answer my own goddamn question. <laughs> Say, Dad, you know, super repel, or are we good to go? Or are we good to go, mate? Fuck! Go in here. Alright. So we're super repelled up. God damn it. We're whirlpooled up. Let me through! Thank you. Woo! Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to take the dragon challenge just yet. I want to look for things. Fuck! Went the wrong way. I'm really not good at Pokemon. I don't know why I have a YouTube channel where I upload Pokemon videos at. I'm just bad at it. All for the Dragon Fang. And you know what? I would give Fang the Dragon Fang because what what more appropriate item can a Pokemon named Fang? That's a Dragon type hold. But a Dragon Fang. But I like the Life Orb that he has now. All right, old people. Excuse the fuck out of me. Hmm. Good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I'm sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry, you are, you are to only answer a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? They're my friends! Oh, I understand. What helps you win battles? Strategy. I was gonna say cheating. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Strong! Oh, I understand. What is most important for raising Pokemon? Love. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. What are important? What is more important? I don't know. I'm gonna say both. I don't want to be a dick. Hmm. I see you care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what is important. Nappy, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. All right, come on, bring your ass over here and give me the goddamn badge. Come on, stop being janky. So, how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail. Oh. oh. What? You passed? That can't be! Yeah, back the fuck up. You're lying! Even I haven't been approved. Ha <laughs> ha! Claire! This child is impeccable in skill and spirit! Admit defeat and confer the rising badge! Or must I inform Lance of this? Uh... I... I... I understand. Here is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it! Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The Rising Badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon will, will know you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Yeah. Claire! Reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has! <sighs> yeah, skedaddle. By the way, have you heard of Lugia? Uh. Between Olivine and Sinewood are islands called Whirl Islands. There is a huge waterfall deep in the cave there. It is said that Lugia rests in the deep end of the waterfall basin. You need a silver wing to reach the waterfall basin, I've heard. Well, nigga. Let me bust open this fucking inventory and show you what I got, motherfucker. And show you what I got, motherfucker. But he don't know that. He don't know that. I like how they, like, hint at it to, like, try and guide your direction. Like, oh, hey, you should probably go here next. You know what I mean? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. 
So I don't know what I really want to do next because in the next episode we have the potential to have a lot of egg hatches. Oh, she walked through. All right, wait. I'm all right. She glitched the fuck out of here. I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. What is TM59? Is that Dragon Balls? Please tell me it's Dragon Balls. That contains Dragon Balls. Well, Dragon Balls is kind of. Never mind. It's a huge energy of some kind. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. What's the matter? If you're headed to the Pokemon League, go back to Newbark Town and surf along Route 27. Your face is telling me you have some unfinished business. Come on! Whatever you have to face from now, now, don't you dare give up. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it your all! And then I have to wait for her to leave when she's already left. That's just how much of a badass bitch Claire is. You know, she can walk out the room and still talk to your ass. God damn it! Everybody wants to talk to me! Oh, hello, Dappy! How's it going? I've got to hold on something neat! Swing by my lab and pick it up! See you later! Could it be a Master Ball? <laughs> okay, so I don't know what I want to do, because next episode we have a lot of mons to hatch. Or not, not to hatch. Well, yeah, we do have a lot of mons to hatch. And on top of that, I want to, uh... We, we already have a Dark Cave encounter, don't we? Hmm. I think there's one more route. I think there's one more route that's south of here before we get back to New Bark Town that we can catch uh, and get or get an encounter on. So I I don't know. I think what I might do is I might save these egg hatches until Friday and spend the next episode exploring the World Islands because then we're just going to get another encounter in the World Islands. I don't know. We, we just have a lot of mons to hatch. So I'm guessing we're probably going to end up having seven mons, seven eggs to hatch, including Lugia. So, I don't know, I might say that until Friday's episode, which, I don't know, it's, it's up to you guys if it ends up being an hour of power. Um, but if it is, then we'll definitely have the time then to hatch all those eggs and not take up half the damn episode. So, I don't know. I know I said I was gonna hatch eggs in today's episode, but it slipped my mind. I forgot I'm only human. I'm a man, I make mistakes. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my mistakes. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Storm Silver, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, if today's episode and Wednesday's episode can break a powerful 7,000 likes, then Friday's episode will be an hour of power of egg hatchitude. But with that, I'm gonna get a power. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You're gonna need to that one and two. Uh -huh.